Hello, folks. Hello, teacher. Yes. Happy, happy uh, Tuesday, folks. Are you happy today? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what are you doing, folks? Listening to teacher? You are studying English? <laughs> yeah. No. What you, oh what are you doing? Easy to find. Yeah, that is an electric fan. You say electric fan. Yes. Fuck before our class, what did you do? What? Before before our class. Before English class. I play. What, oh, you played what? We use past tense. I played what? Is it online game? Sports game? Like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So, fuck uh, this time. Are you ready now to study? Yeah. Okay. So, let's have now our book. Okay. This one. Let's continue. Our next question is. Number 17, please read now. Mm -hmm. Should you? So you change the way you dress because of what other people might think. Okay, should you change the way you dress because of what other people might think? So for example, uh, your side hook. You are wearing very simple attire today. That is a your attire is jersey. You are wearing jersey for basketball, right? Your attire today, your outfit is you like playing basketball, right? Your your t-shirt. Look at your t-shirt. You are your t-shirt today is hello, folk. Are you, hello? Yeah. Your attire today. What? Your t-shirt. Look at your t-shirt. Your t-shirt is you look what? like playing. Oh, that is for basketball, right? For basketball. So if you will go to church, you have your school uniform. For example, Fook, your uh for example, your friend told you, Oh, Fook, your attire today is for basketball or for basketball. Oh, we are in the party, so you should uh, Attire well. You should have good outfit. Okay? You should change your attire. Because we are attending birthday. So we will not use basketball attire. Okay? Just like you. You are wearing basketball attire. If you will go to your, to your friend's birthday, you can have your formal attire, semi-formal attire, not jersey. Okay? Do you understand, Fook? Yeah. Okay, so you will change your dress because of what other people might think. You are always basing other people, not only yourself. Okay, well, this question, should you wear what you want? Or should you wear what others think uh, should you wear? What do you think? Uh, what's your answer to this one, Fook? Yes, Fook. Should you wear what you want? <clears throat> oh, the question is, should you, you wear that? what you want? Next. What? Eh. Oh, should you wear what others think? Can you um, should wear? Yes, okay. Your parents have been... Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, please sorry, read. Papi, yeah, please Papi read our article. The way you dress, you say you can express yourself. But that that may be you should Tony. Damn, spiky hair is alright. Mm. But no. But not what? All the have as the nose ring like a little give it but not your grandmother's birthday party 
your six of all fashion rules are and tell your parents that how to how you to dress no one's business uh, but yours no one's business but yours you have you to have be to yourself. be yourself a month later parents parents uh teacher Teach. conferences rule around give uh, yeah. you have been doing well this semester semester <laughs> so you're not sweeting it but when you catch par your parents <laughs> Uh, but when you catch your parents heading you off, your parents heading off to, to meetings the, to the meetings, you can believe your eyes. <coughs> your mother is you wearing <laughs> a red mini skirt and an. Enormous blonde wig. wig. Uh, Your father is wearing a Your cross. father is wearing a cross. Hawaiian. Hawaiian shirt and. Shirts. And. Torn shirts. Torn shirts. You're furious. furious. You say. You're furious. You'll, you say you'll be the laughing stock of the show. They tell you they're just being uh, themselves. What do you say now? Should you change the way? You dress because of what other people might think. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that's all our article, Fook. Did you understand our article, Fook? We're talking about attire or outfit. Yeah. Did you understand our article? Tonight, yes or no? No, Did you... <gasps> you didn't understand our article. We are talking about our attire. So, your parents, okay, I will be the one to read, and you will try to analyze and uh, express your ideas of it. Okay, first sentence your parents have been complaining about the way you dress okay for example Fook, you have your sister your sister is a very nice uh, Fook. Uh, she likes to wear very sexy attire your sister oh, hello Fook. Yes. yeah oh your sister is wearing very sexy attire no I no so yeah, so Fook, actually, your parents have been complaining about the way you dress. For example, your sister is a girl. So your sister sister is wearing very sexy. And then your parents will tell you, oh, change your outfit. It's very sexy. Change t-shirt only or no. skirt. Yeah, for example, that is just an example. I, I would like to help you to analyze our article. Next sentence. They say you can express yourself, but that maybe you should tone it, tone, tone it down. Okay, they say you can express yourself. So it means you can express, you know, for example, you want that attire. You want a basketball attire. So, so what? If you can express yourself. No one tell you, no one tells you, Oh, Fook, your attire is very simple. Basketball attire, your attire, that is for basketball. We are not going outside. We will just sleep. So you should wear pajama. So for example, your parents would tell you, Fook, why are you wearing jersey? Why are you wearing for basketball? You can change outfit. You can change pajama for sleep. It's not a good attire. It's not a good outfit to sleep. Okay? Like that. Next. Okay. okay, next. Spiky here is all right, but not all the time. Okay? But not all the time. Okay? 
Yeah, you know what, Tafuk? My mother sometimes told me, oh, that is very short. Can you change another dress? Because that is very short. Can you change it now? Like that. So my mother will wait me most of the time so that uh, I can change my outfit also, okay? Next. As if her nose ring, they can live with it, but not of your grandmother's birthday party, okay? As for a nose ring, they can live with it, but not as your grandmother's birthday party. So, for example, your grandma, do you have a grandmother, Vuk? Do you have a grandmother? Yeah. yeah. So, for example, your grandmother would tell you, Vuk, your attire is very dirty. Can you change clean one? The clean one. Can you change jacket, not t-shirt? Oh, you look so dirty. So your grandmother will try to, to advise you or to try to tell you change another one. Okay? Next. You're sick okay. of all these fashion rules and tell your parents that you dress is no one's bad no one's business but yours okay so i cannot tell my mother also oh this is this is a very um modern fashion to not, uh, today yeah this is for millennial attire this is our generation's attire we cannot say to your to our parents okay for example crop top when you say crop top that is very short okay very small like you are wearing for for baby's attire Okay, and then you can see also the stomach of the girls. So very sexy attire. So you cannot say, oh, mother, this is a new attire. You cannot say like that, right? You should also, uh, you should also put yourself that, uh, consider also the, the generations of your mother, okay? The Mother's generation, they want very long skirt, very long t-shirt, <laughs> very long. Everything is long for our parents' generation. But in our generation, <clears throat> folk, we have very sexy attire this time. Okay? Oh, folk, you look so sexy also. Your basketball attire, your t-shirt, <laughs> color blue. That is sexy. Okay? For example, your mother would tell you, Fuck, that is very sexy. Change another jersey that is very long. That is very small. Okay? Your your attire is very small. Next. Fuck, did you understand now? Yeah. You have to be yourself. <clears throat> so you you have to be yourself. You just follow what you want, what attire you want. A month later, parent-teacher conferences rule around. You've been doing this with this semester. So you're not sweating, but you can catch your parents heading off to the meetings. You can't believe your eyes. Your mother is wearing a red miniskirt in an enormous blonde wig, but your father is wearing a cross, Hawaiian shirt, and torn shirts. You're furious. You say you'll be the laughing stock at the school. The tall of the urges being themselves. What do you say now? Should you change the way you dress because of what other people might think? I think it's no. No, that's good. Just follow yourself. Be yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, folk, please read yes. I want you to read yes. It's fine, people. You deal by the clothes you wear. Sometimes what's wrong, bro? But if you're meeting someone, who doesn't know you? They don't always have much to go on. You may be a great person, but if you were wearing a shirt with a school on it, someone right find that frightening. You don't have a way. Frightening. 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 Okay, next. Mm -hmm. This one. Continue. What? You should always be yourself. That's right. You should always be yourself. It's as simple yes. as that. 
if people are shallow enough to judge <clears throat> you by the cold clothes you wear, that's their problem, not your. Anyway, if your family, uh, and friends, family and friends, and friend, mm, really love you, they will get over that. What might, mm -hmm. what might scare them at first? Even grandparents probably have to stop. Okay. So I don't know why I can't scroll down. Maybe there is a problem about my screen. Because I cannot scroll down our book. Okay, so this one already. So someone might find that frightening. You don't always have to confirm. But sometimes it's best to dress according to the situation. And then this one probably have the stuff kids to seem seems strange to grandparents, but most of the time they manage to love their grandkids anyway. Okay. Uh, what did you understand, Fook, our article today? What did you understand? Um, yeah, what what did you understand? I understand. I understand um, what? This way careful if you go out. Yes, be careful. That's right. Okay, so if you will go out, Boogie, that's your attire, jersey, only that for basketball, or you can uh, wear also very nice attire in shopping mall, right? Food? Are you wearing t shirt? No. I'm wearing t-shirt. Okay. So, do you have any questions about page number 31? Yeah. Or what is your question? Question is no question. Okay, so let's have this. Oh, I feel sleepy now, folk. Are you sleepy now, folk? No. Okay, let's move on our next question. Number 18, please read. Should business be forced? Mm. Mm -hmm. Should business be forced to deliver to every Should neighborhood? Should be forced to deliver to every neighborhood? Mm -hmm. uh, One politician. Should businesses be first to deliver it to every neighborhood? Oh, I can't relate this because I don't have a business yet. Oh, where is a folk? Are you okay, folk? No. No? Why no? Yeah. Okay, yeah. folk. The question is, should businesses be first to deliver it to every neighborhood? What's your answer for this question? Mm -hmm. I think it, no. Yes, why? We got me next in a job. Okay, next. One politician wants a law that forces business to deliver, but is she right or is she is making matters worse? Mm -hmm. What a dumb dog. Hmm. What's that? Should businesses be first? No. no, your your answer is no. One politician wants a law that forces business to deliver, but is right for is uh, she is making worse. No. No. Okay, so we have this. Okay, imagine. I think you're very sleepy. Yes. What's that? I think you're very sleepy. Why? Because your sound and your voice. Yes, that's right, Fook. Because you know what, Fook? A while ago, I handled my Korean company. 
I started teaching my students, Korean students, at 3 p.m. until 9.20 before, before your class full. Yeah, so before your class, I handled many students. So I am very sleepy and I tried my best to to avoid <laughs> sleeping in the class. Yeah, because I have two students, you and also Wang Bak. Do you know Wang Bak? What is Mac? Wang Bak is my student also, Vietnamese student. <laughs> Wang Bak? Yeah, is that your friend, Wang Bak? No. I know. I don't know him. Oh, it's okay, folks. Yeah. Okay, folks, let's go back. Our, yeah, don't worry. Teacher will not sleep, okay? Let's continue this one, folks. Okay. One politician wants a law that forces businesses to deliver. But is she right or she is making matters worse? One politician wants a law that forces businesses to deliver. But is she right or she is making matters worse? What's your answer? Uh. Oh, very. No. Good. No. That's making right. matter worse. Yeah, it it is really the effect. It make matters worse. Next, please read our article. We still have a time. Imagine, Imagine that. You have been craving pizza, Daddy. Finally, once you get home, why die? You call to that is day two, all day, not die. Cravings pizza all day. All day. Finally. Finally, once you get home, you call to have one. The love, but the pizza company say it one, no, uh, one. Deliver to your neighborhood. Uh, they drive a was wrong last week. An employee says, you, you have to pick up your pizza here. Okay, so maybe you live in a high crime area, but you would never rob anyone. Is the pizza company being unfair? Is that right? Francisco. California, one lawmaker thinks so. Neither Domino's nor Mr. Pizza Man who deliver. Okay, so yeah. for, that's uh, enough. Don't read everything. Teacher will help also, okay? So anyway, okay. before you will continue, folk, did you understand? The most important thing is you can read well. At the same time, you really understand our article. Because it is very useless that you can read everything, but then you didn't understand our article, especially if you read it so fast, okay? So you should uh, speak slowly and then you can have that so that you will understand everything, okay? Okay. Okay, Max. Where? Her neck mohood? So, so the, she took action. She has passed the new law that makes it illegal for businesses to deliver to some neighborhoods, but not others. Okay. Her yeah. opponents say this law is unfair. They say it's not a no and P Mr. Pizza Man that are affected by this new law. It's the employee. Employee. The drivers who know how to drift their lives just to deliver pizzas. What do you think should be necessary be required Business. to deliver? Business to be required to deliver to every neighborhood. Yeah, what's your answer? For example, you have a business in, uh, in Japan, I mean Japan, in Vietnam. So what do you think? Should businesses be ex required to deliver to every neighborhood or no? For you, for example, you have no. a business. No, it's, it's not important that you will deliver door to door, right? <laughs> 
Yes. Wow. Okay. So what did you understand this? We're talking about mm -hmm, business. Mm -hmm. Business. Yeah, we're talking about business. What? So what's your answer number yeah. one? Oh, uh, no. It's okay. food then. Okay. Next. That's all? Yes. Okay, so that's all you really understand. Imagine that you're being, you've been uh, crying. You have been craving pizza. So in my side, folk, I am craving, oh, I forget my favorite food. I'm craving ramen. Korean ramen is very nice. Until now, I want to try again. Okay? Okay. Yes. How about this one? Is it very important to food? For example, you have your small, small business. So you will, it is very important to require. Okay. Okay, so no follow up questions? Yeah. Okay, so let's have this yes and no. Okay. Next. If living uh, a certain, oh, yes, I will read yes. If living in a certain neighborhood doesn't make you a criminal, what should delivery services discriminate against you? Always all delivery is. Okay. okay. Yeah, so what did you really? understand? What did you understand for, about yes? Did you understand about this? Yeah. Okay. So it's very easy to understand, right? So we have this. Oh, no. It's easy for politicians to talk about fairness. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, it's easy. It's easy? Huh? Okay, yes. No more questions now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have this. Mm -hmm. A company has a right to protect its employees. Do you think food, the company protect your scene? No. No. Okay, I get it now. Okay, so anyway, Fulk, thank you so much for... Yes. Are you planning no. to have a business? Are you planning to have a business in your in your house, folk? No. No, you don't like business? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe your parents they really like business. Actually, business can help you a lot also, okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, so no more questions now. Yes. Okay. Oh no. Oh why? Okay, now. Okay, so Fook, do you have questions? No questions. No. No questions. Did you understand our article today? Yeah. It's all about our neighborhood. Okay. Yes, let's have this. Oh, anyway, Fook, our time is already over. Thank you so much tonight. Yeah. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye.